friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do the mid year freak out tag. We are literally halfway through the year at this point. I'm trying to get back my consistency. I know I keep saying that every time I post a video, but I really am trying. So I figured what a good way to like get back into it. Alright, so um, we have 13 questions and it's all about my reading throughout the year. I've actually been doing a pretty decent job with my reading this year even though I haven't really been giving y'all updates so I apologize but this is where I'm gonna give you my updates I guess technically speaking. <laughs> so the first prompt is the best book you've read so far this year and so for that one I'm gonna choose Happy Place by Emily Henry. I really really enjoyed this book. I believe I give it four or five stars. I really enjoyed the relationships in this book. I enjoyed um, the way she wrote out the timeline and even with like the breakup I was definitely like I really liked that element because it was it was new and it was messy but it was like I don't know how to describe it, but I just I just really, really enjoyed the book overall. And I think this book solidified that Emily Henry is one of my favorite like contemporary romance authors. And I'm gonna just keep buying her books because at this point she's like four out of four for me. So So number two is best sequel you've read so far. So I read The Broken Blade by Melissa Blair last year, last fall. So the sequel came out this spring and so I immediately bought the audiobook and I read it and I really really loved it. It was so good. I gave it 5 stars um because it picks off it picked up right where we left off with book 1 and just immediately went into the rest of the story, like continued it on. No breaks, no butts, and I loved it. It was so so good and I loved this new um, phase and element of the story. I really enjoyed the things that were being revealed to us because it was like keeping me intrigued but it still left some questions so not everything was being given to us. So I really really appreciate it. I'm like bummed I read it so soon though at the same time because the new book doesn't come out till the early next year so now I gotta wait all these months for the next book. I'm, I'm kind of suffering inside of that because I need to know all the things. But it is um, one of the one of the better sequels I've read this year that I really really enjoyed. Um, in case you don't know, A Broken Blade is uh, based in a world where um, I think it's th I think they're humans. The humans have taken over and they've basically killed off the magic. And um, they, when they took over, they killed off all the light fey, and then they like banned the dark fey. And then they took halflings who are a mixture between like the elves and the fey and all that kind of stuff. Um, they took them and they enslaved them. So when we start the story, the girl that we're following, or woman that we're following, she has been working for the king for over like 60 years. She's a halfling. She um, is his assassin, his top assassin. And she's just like a drunk. And she's just really, really struggling with her life. She's been really just going with the flow of things, like just going through the movements for the past few years. And it isn't until... Um, she encounters the shadow and loses to him that she starts to realize that she needs to start being present again and she needs to really start taking an active approach to taking down the king again so it's a really good story i really liked it i really enjoyed the fact that the main character is very very flawed literally when you start she's a functioning alcoholic and you start to see her um really grow back into herself, um, really work on her, her issues a little bit too. And so I um, really, really enjoyed that uh, a lot within this story. And I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good like fantasy romance. Three, a new release you haven't read yet. So I've been meaning to get to this and I keep borrowing it from my library and I still haven't picked it up and it's A Ruinous Fate. I can't even remember what the plot is at this point, but I remember when I first read it, before its release I was really excited about it and I do have the physical book as well so hopefully I will get to it at some point this year before the year ends. Number four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. So I have actually three. One of them just released and it's Some Shall Break by Ellie Marnie. This is the sequel to None Shall Sleep which is a Kind of like a Criminal Minds-esque YA 
um, thriller that takes place in the 80s. I really enjoyed the first book. Um, it's about these two teens who are recruited together um, to solve cold cases and work with teenage murderers. Um, and I was really excited to find out that there was a sequel coming out this year because when I first read the book and I finished it like a few years ago, I was like, I really hope that there's a sequel because the story, I feel like she could do a good job with like expanding it a little bit more and not just leaving it as a standalone. And so I'm glad that she somehow heard my, my, my thoughts. The second book I'm looking forward to is Gold by Raven Kennedy, which is the final book in the Plated Prisoner series. Lady has pushed this book off, it's supposed to come out this summer, and then she pushed it off to December or like the end of the year, whenever, and I'm nervous, I'm nervous y'all, I really need this to end how I want it, I don't even know how I want it to end, but I need it to end how I want it. So I'm just, I'm really nervous. I really need things to go well for Slade and all my favorites. So, so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully they, they live to tell the tale. And then the last book I'm looking forward to is Fourth Wing 2, which is The Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Um, I'm going to go into more of that, a few questions from now, but yeah, kind of looking forward to that book. So I just added it in. Where's Shocker? So number five is the biggest disappointment. So for that one, I chose The Final Strife. I, when I first saw the cover of this book and then I read the synopsis, it actually sounded really good. And I was really excited for a black, like, black fantasy, black African inspired fantasy, whatever. And when I read it, I feel like what it was sold as was not what I read. And so I was really disappointed because I really did not like the book at all. I didn't like the story. I didn't like the characters. I thought they were all pretty annoying. And so I just felt kind of a little betrayed, a little played. Because I swear to you, the book that I read was not how the synopsis made it sound. And so, yeah. If you did enjoy it, I'm happy for you. <laughs> so number six is Biggest Surprise. So I have two. Um, the first one is Fourth Wing. Y'all, I don't pick up hype books, and when you hear my second choice, you'll, I'll explain more, but I don't pick up hype books. I really, really don't. Um, if I do pick them up, I won't read them till years after the hype has died down, because I'm just weird like that, and I just, like, the way my brain works but the way everybody was talking about fourth wing and then my friends were like oh we're gonna read it i had i kind of have fomo so i want to join the buddy read too i was not expecting to get the book like super easily because i know it's sold out and there are lines in the libraries but the way i pulled up my library app and i was like well let's just see the ebook was definitely like had a wait having a wait list of like months but the audiobook was just there for the taking it was just open so i just borrowed it and then i listened to it and i was like wow this was better than i expected <laughs> i was not expecting to enjoy that book as much as i did but i did enjoy it it was actually pretty neat i'm gonna be honest though there were big holes in the plot was it the greatest book ever written absolutely not but was I here for the vibes? Yes. And was I here for the dragons? Absolutely. So that's what happened. I'm definitely looking forward to the second book because uh, the first book ended on a weird cliffhanger and I just want to know the- I just want to know what happened. But the second book I have <laughs> is Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reads. I finally read that book. When I tell you I don't list- I don't read high books until like years later, this is my example. This book came out, I don't even remember when, but I remember everybody and their mother talking about it, and I just didn't pick it up until this year. But I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was, because I don't really read a lot of literary fiction like that. So when I like started it, I was intrigued, and then as I got more into it, I really started to like Evelyn and her point of view and her perspective. I really liked her story and her as a character. I really wasn't expecting to like her so much. I thought I was going to end up siding with somebody else like Celia or something. But no, me and Evelyn, Evelyn is my homegirl. I really enjoy her. I was on her side the entire book. Anytime that somebody was like, oh, Evelyn is in the wrong, she's not. She's definitely not. It's everybody else in the wrong. Evelyn's in the right. 
Evelyn had a good mindset. She had a, a mature mindset and I really enjoyed that. I know a lot of people like I think some people were saying she just like was very selfish as she should be. I'm sorry but I just I can't fault her for like putting her life in the thing that she really was trying to achieve. Like sis was really trying to be more than what she want what she was and she put her blood sweat and tears into that and i really admire it and i appreciate it so yeah i i think i give that book like four or five stars but like by the end i was like feeling for evelyn i was like man i wish i was her bestie like i wish i could have befriended her i wish i could have known her honestly i kind of wish she was my grandmother because that would have been an awesome awesome way to to grow up you know props to taylor jenkins reed I don't know if I want to read any more of her books because I don't want to jinx this of like liking this one book and then reading another and not liking that. So I might just leave it with this and then move on with my life. Alright, so next question is seven favorite new author. And so for that one, I chose Olivia Atwater. Um, I recently read Half a Soul um, this year in the spring. It was a buddy read between me and Monet. And we both actually really enjoyed this, this book. It was a five- four or five star read for me I can't remember specifically but I really enjoyed the way she told the story it was a different type of fantasy than I read before um it's kind of I don't even want to say it's like a cozy fantasy it's definitely like a regency era um phase story but I really liked um the dynamics she had and the like formula she used to write her story so uh Have a Soul is about a lady who when she was younger she runs into this fae and he reveals that her mother um sold her soul to him and so he tries and takes it from her but at the last minute her cousin saves her and he only takes half of her soul so after that happens um she realizes that she's different she can't feel emotions like everybody else does or if she does feel emotions they're very very muted it's like very like deep into her that she feels them and it's not like outwardly shown or anything and so due to that she's kind of seen as a pariah in her family and in her society the only person who really stands by her is her cousin so when you start the after that little tidbit of the story um you get a time jump to when they're like probably in their like early like late teens early 20s and her cousin is ready to debut into society and so they move to like the inner part of london i believe to start um showing her off and hopefully marry her off and there she runs into this i think he's like a magician or i can't remember the official title he had but he's like a magic wielder and she asks him to help her find a cure for um her soul being gone and um he decides to help her when i tell you this story and this romance was so freaking cute like the so the guy he's like it turns out like he has a really big heart that he like puts on this like grumpy um grumpy facade this like facade that he's a playboy that he's like more trouble than he's worth and really he's just like a really genuine person and so i love the fact that like he tries to scare her off and it doesn't work because she doesn't feel fear and then she slowly starts to because her emotions are so muted and she's not being overrun by by fear or whatever she really sees the true him and like in such a like objective way and so i really love that because i feel like that really allowed them to form this like genuine connection and he starts like genuinely falling for her even though he thinks she's weird as hell and it's just great it's like so great y'all you should definitely read the story because it's so so good um i'm definitely looking forward to reading the other books i think she has like companion books that go with this one and so i'm really excited to check those out because i just like loved her storytelling and the way she wrote these characters number eight is newest fictional crush um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I have fictional crushes anymore, so I don't really have a choice for that. Number nine is newest favorite character. I'm trying to think. I'm gonna say the dragons from Fourth Wing because honestly, they were pretty cool. I realized I haven't read a lot of dragon books after reading that, and I was like, I need to get more into that select uh, category of magical creatures because 
they seem kind of cool. Number 10 is a book that made me cry. I don't know if I have an answer to that. You know what? Half a soul. I think I cried a little bit at that because there was a moment where um, she was feeling so dejected by everybody and it was kind of relatable. So I think that's my answer. All right, and then number 11 is a book that made you happy. Honestly, all the books that I've really enjoyed this year, um, like Happy Place, um, Seven Husbands, Fourth Wing, uh, A Shadow Crown, they have all made me happy at some point because they're just so good and I really enjoyed the stick characters and everything. All right, 12. So most beautiful book you have acquired this year. Oh, so I did buy the fairy loot set of the inheritance games books and they're so beautiful if you know me if you've been with my channel for a while you know how obsessed i am with jennifer lynn barnes as a writer and so when they came out with this set i was so so happy and it's so pretty i just love it and it's just displayed on my shelf and then the last question is what books do you need to read before the end of the year so i don't know if i said this verbally on my channel yet but i have made it a goal this year to not really buy any new books and i've really actually done a good job sticking to that i have i maybe bought like one or two or three books this year so far and any other book that i've gotten has been a gift or been sent to me by publishers um but i'm really trying to focus on reading down my tbr this year and i think i've again i think i'm doing a pretty good job because every book i've read is a book i've owned um and if i if it's something i don't own i definitely have borrowed it from the library i haven't resorted to going out and buying it just in case i don't like it and so that's really been my 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 top goal especially because we're moving this fall so um i i'm definitely gonna have to downsize a lot of books but yeah thank you guys for watching this video this was my mid-year freak out tag hopefully you all enjoyed it um if you guys want to see any videos from me please give me some ideas i'm getting back into it so i definitely need to like motivation and good ideas to try out so give me a chance give me like Put those down below if you can um i want to try and do more vlogs i just need to be more like structured with them so i'm definitely going to try and work on that too um but yeah if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments questions concerns please leave all that in the comment section down below and if you want to see more videos from me please hit that subscribe button you guys are awesome flowers in a world full of weights.